Hello dear students, welcome in this YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about some extra questions of chapter 3 class 9 coordinate geometry. So let's see and do these questions. So first question is equation of x axis is dash. So you know on x axis the value of y is always 0. So the equation of x axis is y is equal to 0 because on x axis the value of y is always 0 right. Now second is equation of y axis is similarly on y axis the value of x is always 0. So it means the equation of y axis is x is equal to 0 right. Now the next question is equation of a line parallel to x axis is. So a line which is parallel to x axis what can be its equation so let's draw here only. So suppose this is x axis x x dash and this is y axis right. So a line which is parallel to x axis suppose this line is here right and this point is suppose uh, this point is 2 this is 1 this is 2. So if you will uh, see or if you will note all the points which are on this line you will see that the y coordinate is always 2 on this line. If you see here suppose it is 1 so this point will be 1 comma 2. If it is 2 this point is 2 comma 2. If it is 3 this point is 3 comma 2. Value of y is always 2 on this line right. If you draw a line parallel to x axis on this point on here you draw then on this uh, on this line the value of y is always 1 wherever you go the coordinate of y will be 1 only agar yahan pe draw karo then it is value of y is always 3 if it is 3 so it means the equation of a line which is parallel to x axis is y is equal to some number and that number is a real number so y is equal to a you can speak simply so this is the right answer here or y is equal to v, b also you can speak okay. You can speak any number where a liklo, b liklo, c liklo, y is equal to some number that is a real number. So y is equal to b is the right answer because a line which is parallel to x axis will have the y coordinate uh, which is x, uh, parallel to x axis will have the y coordinate always equal to some real number okay. So this is y is equal to b. Now the next question is equation of a line which is parallel to y axis. So suppose a line which is parallel to y axis. Suppose this is this line. This is y axis and this line is there. So if you will see this line on this line the value of x is always fixed. Suppose it is here uh, minus 3. So here if you will see in this line all the points will have the value of x as minus 3. The x coordinate is minus 3 only. So it means uh, a line parallel to y axis is x is equal to a liklo chai b liklo anything. So x is equal to a is this is the right answer. So always remember equation of a line parallel to y axis is x is equal to a and equation of a line parallel to x axis is y is equal to some number that is b. Okay. So let's do the next question. Next is point of intersection of coordinate axis is called dash. So you all know what is the point of uh, intersection of coordinate axis that is called origin. This is origin you can call or you cannot but you should speak this as origin. So next question is sixth. The coordinates of origin are so you know what are the coordinates of origin this is 0 comma 0 right next any point on x axis is of the form. Okay, so on x axis, suppose this is x axis, x x dash, y y dash. Okay, this is 0. So if you will see this point, so what is the name of uh, this point? This is x coordinate is 0 and y coordinate, sorry, x coordinate is 1 and y coordinate is 0. Here, x coordinate 2, y coordinate 0. Here, x coordinate 3, y coordinate 0. It means on x axis, if you see any point that will be x comma 0 means any number comma 0 y coordinate is always 0 on x axis so any point on x axis is of the form x comma 0 it means y coordinate is always 0 and x coordinate will some number will be some number like real number any so i have represented this as x so x comma 0 you can speak this as next question any point on y axis is of the form so if you will visit the y axis you will see all points will be like 0 comma 1 
ओके जीरो कॉमा टू जीरो कॉमा थ्री जीरो कॉमा फोर सो इट मीन्स ऑन वाई एक्सिस एनी पॉइंट इज ऑफ द फॉर्म जीरो कॉमा वाई यू स्पीक सो यू कैन पुट हेयर एनी पॉइंट इट्स वैल्यू विल बी जीरो कॉमा समथिंग सम नंबर विल बी देयर हेयर सो इट इज जीरो कॉमा वाई एंड हेयर ऑन वाई एक्सिस वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज ऑलवेज जीरो हेयर राइट सो जीरो कॉमा वाई इज द आंसर सो नेक्स्ट इज ऑन एक्स एक्सिस वट इज अ जीरो सो ऑन एक्स एक्सिस y is a zero the value of y is a zero you can write here or you can speak that y coordinates is zero theek hai or you know y coordinate is called ordinate okay so you can write here ordinate also ordinate right you can fill here y coordinate also so y coordinate is also called ordinate so on x axis ordinate is a zero or you can speak y coordinate is zero so that is also a right answer any anything you can fill from this two okay next is on y axis what is a zero so you know on y axis the value of x coordinate is always zero okay so you can write here x coordinate or you can write here you know x coordinate is called x coordinate is called abscissa a b s c i d s s a so you can fill any thing from here so on y axis abscissa is always zero abscissa means x coordinate so you can fill here x coordinate also you can fill here abscissa also both are right next question coordinate axis divide the cartesian plane into dash parts you know see here this these are suppose uh, coordinate axis this is x axis this is y axis so this plane is divided into four parts this is first quadrant and these parts are called quadrant first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant this is fourth quadrant right so uh, it is divided into four parts right and each part is called quadrants each part is called quadrant right first quadrant second third and fourth quadrant so let's see next in dash quadrant both x and y coordinates are positive so see here uh, let's talk about the first quadrant i tell you this is x axis this is y axis this side x axis is positive this side x axis is a negative okay this side y axis is positive this side y axis is negative theek hai okay so if you see in first quadrant to dekho x axis is positive and y will be also positive because upside y is positive so x and y both will be positive in first quadrant let's talk about second quadrant see here x axis is negative here and y axis is up, upside it is positive so x axis is negative y axis is positive here right in third quadrant x axis is negative and y axis is also negative downside y is also negative x is also negative this side so both are negative and in fourth quadrant x is positive y is negative so positive negative let's see what is the question now in dash quadrant both x and y coordinates are positive to so see in first quadrant both x and y coordinates are positive first is x coordinate second is y coordinate so it is first quadrant you can write next question in dash and dash quadrant sign of both coordinates are same so see sign of both quadrants are same in first also both are positive in third both are negative so in first quadrant and in third quadrant sign of both coordinate axis uh, coordinates are same so let's see the 14th question point minus 3 minus 3 will lie in dash quadrant so you all know when both are negative quadrants uh, negative coordinates then it will lie in the third quadrant okay third quadrant next 15th question is uh, find the distance between point 3 comma 4 and 3 comma minus 4 so you are in ninth standard so you can find out their distance here just on after drawing these on the graph or roughly you can draw on the graph and find the distance and in 10th standard we have a particular formula for finding the distance so first of all i want to tell you with the ninth standard uh, way so it is see here 3 comma 4 is th this is 3 and it is 4 right and uh, next is 3 and minus 4 so this is 3 and minus 4 is this or you can see here the distance of these two points is so uh, this point is four steps ahead than 3 
and this is uh, minus uh, sorry four step downside so total distance is 80 unit don't think it is minus four you have to take distance as positive only so for this side for this side so total distance is eight unit so you can write here eight unit is distance between these two points right and in 10th standard if we have formula this is x1 suppose this is x uh, y1 it is x2 it is y2 so we have this formula distance formula distance between two points will be x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square ठीक है देखने क्या आया था इसमें x2 minus x1 three minus three that is zero zero square plus y2 minus y1 so minus four minus four that is minus eight square right so minus eight square is sixty four so sixty four square root is eight so this way also you can find out the answer will come eight but you will do like this we only roughly you can draw these axes and you can find the distance between these two axes uh, these two points right so the next point is so i want to tell you one thing more from here suppose uh, this is point 3 comma 4 right this is 3 and this is 4 right can you tell me what is the perpendicular distance of this point from x axis ye x axis se kitne distance dur hai ye point ye x axis hai so this is 4 unit above than the x axis see here this this point is 4 unit above the x axis so its distance from x axis is 4 unit and what is the distance of perpendicular distance of this point from y axis so let's see from y axis it is 1 2 3 3 units na? so from y axis it is 3 unit distance and from x axis it is 4 unit distance right so means jab aapko x axis se kitni dur hai koi point wo lena hota hai you choose its y coordinates aur jab aapko ye choose karna hai ki what is the distance of this point from uh, y axis you choose x coordinate that you, have, you you can see here from here okay so see here find the perpendicular distance of a point this from x axis so from x axis this will be y unit so this i explained you in this y unit and what will be the distance of this point from y axis that will be x unit okay so 17th question is find perpendicular distance of this point from y axis so this point from y axis will be x coordinate that is 3 unit which I explained you three units so our next question is so 18th question is if x is greater than 0 means x is positive and y is less than 0 means y is negative x positive y negative right x positive y negative so then x y will lies in which quadrant so x will be positive so x will be in this side and y is negative y will be in this side so this will be in the fourth quadrant you can see here x positive so this side and y if negative then downside y if positive then upper side so y is negative here so y will be downside so this is positive negative you can say so this will lie in fourth quadrant next is the coordinate of two points are a 3 comma 4 b minus 2 comma 5 then find abscissa of a minus ordinate of b so i tell you x coordinate is called abscissa y coordinate is called ordinate here abscissa is minus 2 ordinate is 5 so let's see what's the question abscissa of a so a ka abscissa hai 3 x coordinate minus ordinate of b b's ordinate is 5 here so 3 minus 5 that is minus 2 answer so this way we will do this question uh, in which quadrant point 4 comma minus 7 lie so x is positive y is negative so x is positive y is negative so this will lie in fourth quadrant this is first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third and this is fourth quadrant so dear students this way we will solve these questions thanks for watching